Howdy y'all, this is Rashanat Ma, and today I have a video on Sargon of Akkad. Now, I have no problem with Sargon, and his content is okay in my opinion. I think he can be informative, but I don't particularly find his videos entertaining. If you like his content, well, different strokes for different folks. I'm not going to be outright saying Sargon of Akkad is awful in this video, but I am going to be criticizing him for a point he made in this video. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get on with the video. CNN. Cuckolding can be positive for some couples, study says, by Ian Kerner. Why are they pushing this? What kind of thing to promote is this? I don't often use the term degeneracy, but I can't think of a more accurate way of describing what CNN is currently doing. Okay, I think degenerate is a little bit of a strong word here. I don't think any news outlet should be perhaps promoting this, but I don't think it's the worst thing any of them have ever said. Okay, so going back to this, this is what I seriously think about this. This is actually a concrete example of degeneracy. This is CNN and an attempt to undermine traditional masculine gender roles. And gentlemen, if you are not sure about any of this for some reason, ask yourself what kind of woman would agree to this? The kind of woman, frankly, who doesn't respect you. Wow, I didn't know you were a mind reader, but just in case if you aren't, <clears throat> citation please. This is a shit test. This is when she is expecting you to turn around and say no. Flat out, absolutely not. And this will not happen in a relationship that you are participating in. This is a point at which you are expected to show some spine. Demonstrate that you are in fact a man and you will not tolerate this kind of nonsense. How do you know these women may not be into it? Maybe some of them would be. Just because a man is letting another person sleep with their spouse or significant other doesn't mean that they aren't a man. This is just a sexual fetish or fantasy. That's all it is. Do you have numbers to show that it is bad for men, women, or children? If not, why do you care? And if you happen to be into this sort of thing, well, maybe BuzzFeed are hiring. And now you are fetish slash fantasy shaming. Having a fetish slash fantasy that is like this doesn't make them not a man or a soy boy. Just because they get off at seeing their significant other or thinking of their significant other getting on with some other person doesn't mean their relationship can't be healthy. So please, show me the data that says it's bad for people in relationships and the children of those people who are in those kinds of relationships. If it shows that there are negative consequences and a great number of them from this in the sense of relationships and child development, then I will take back what I said here. But until then, you can't say whether it does or does not. The only definite thing that you can say that is bad about it is the increase of chances of getting an STD or becoming pregnant. Anyways, if you have a fetish like this, talk it over with your partner. And if they don't want to participate in this fetish, don't force them. Forcing your partner to do something they don't want to do is an absolute sh so instead, maybe use pornography. Well, that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, share it, comment down below and tell me what you thought. Follow me on all my other social media like Minds.com, Gab, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, and BitChute, which is changing its name to Speak Out. You can also support me on Patreon and soon make your support. So if you really like me and have $5 to spare, donate there. And I'll see y'all later.